Hey folks, uh, Kinetic Knowledge here on the subject of search engine optimizing your images so that they can drive additional traffic for you uh, and your brand, your products and services. Uh, fact is, people love images, so you always want to use images in your pages, your posts, and obviously in the design of your site. It certainly is going to enhance your message. And, and marketing studies show that image, images uh, further engage people uh, with your site, your brand, and your content. That said, uh, there are ways to actually leverage images uh, for more indexing uh, so that when people are doing image searches, uh, they might find you and be driven back to your site. So let's take a look at uh, the fundamental way uh, to better search engine optimize your images. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm taking us into a uh, WordPress site dashboard, okay, and uh, I'm going right to the media library because in our view, uh, it's always best to upload an image you know you're going to use on a page or a post into your media library so that you can properly tag it uh, and describe it for future use in pages and posts, okay. So what I've done is I've, I've gone into my dashboard, I've gone over to... Uh, uh, my media tab on the left side, library, found my images, and loaded up here for the purposes of this post. Okay, and what we're going to do is focus really on the four important things you should always be thinking about with your images. Okay, so we uh, just recently rolled out uh, a new theme. Again, themes are just layouts, but it's a more affordable, um, service oriented way to help people uh, design and develop uh, new websites. This particular theme is titled Navisync, and so um, what I wanted to do is get an image of Navisync into my media library, and um, first and foremost, this is very important, when you save these images to your desktop for upload into your website or into your media library like we're doing right now, you really want to make sure that that file name is relevant or it's descriptive of your picture. Big thing that search engines look at is the actual fine file name, and this happens to be Navisync theme. If I had been thinking even more strategically, strategically when I say this, I may have named it Navisync theme for WordPress. But um, I've also titled it Navisync theme for WordPress. Um, we have given it alternative text, which is essentially uh, just a description that, of an image that a search engine can see. We've Given an all text descriptive, uh, the all text, all text descriptive phrase Navisync theme for WordPress. Uh, I've gone even further and described the picture again for search engines. And this is all in your media library. If you go to edit your image, you'll be able to, uh, once you've loaded up your image file, you'll be able to add the all text, the title, and also the description for your image. So once you, once you save that, not only is the file name, the title, but the but the all text is working for you to help you better get your uh, images indexed. Um, here's a post. If I wave my cursor over it live, you can see that the title shows up, Navisync theme for WordPress. That's exactly what I also use for all text. So as a search engine comes in and crawls this site, it's going to consume this image into its index. If somebody was actually looking for the Navisync theme or they were searching anything on Navisync uh, and they were doing image searches, it's likely my theme is going to show up. Uh, let's do that really quick. Um, Navisync theme. We're going to search that. I'm going to make it an image search. And look at that. Um, there's all these pictures related to the words Navisync theme. And there's mine right up there in the upper left-hand corner. Now, granted, my search here is is uh, is personalized, and um, that affects this. But let's not let's not underestimate the power of what we just saw because I just added that image to my site and to my post uh, last week. Okay. And then the last thing I want to point out is that the copy that you use in your actual post or your page where you're using the image. It's also used by search engine algorithms to try and understand what's called alternative content, which are really images and videos. And so uh, how you use that image in a post and the copy surrounding it is certainly going to uh, 
support how a search engine algorithm identifies and indexes and ranks your images. So uh, there you have it, folks. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. Thanks.